Oh. Come here, big girl. In the skinniest water. It's so shallow. That's up over that 65. And take it on one of these huge plastics, that back trailer. So it's missed the front one, but that little stinger down the back there, the treble's done all the work. And she's frayed, she's frayed up the line. That's why you need like a 20 to 30 pound uh, joining fluorocarbon down the back. What a beauty. I want to take you through how I like to rig these big slapsticks plastics for really big flathead. I'm going to take you through some of the things that you can do to get them swimming beautifully through the water or change their action up and uh, help with your hookup rate as well so, and also so you're not getting snapped off. So if you haven't seen these things, these are a nine inch slapsticks. They're made by Silstar and Chris Metcalf made these famous when he started catching giant flathead on these. And uh, last year I captured some of the most insane footage that I've put into a film giant flathead in the shallows, which goes through all the techniques on how to fish these things. So if you haven't seen that, make sure you get your hands on it. I'll leave the link to it in the comments below. But uh, there's some big, big flathead caught in that video and uh, it goes through how to fish them. I'm gonna show you how to rig them because if you're not rigging them right, you're probably not gonna be getting as much action or as, in, as much interest from the really big fish. And there's some things that make a huge difference when you're chasing these big flathead. These big nine inch slapsticks are rigged with a weedless hook, but they're not made weedless deliberately. The weedless hook serves to hold the lure balanced and have it swimming beautifully through the water. And then you put a, a treble stinger on the back end like that, and that keeps the tail balanced so it swims just perfectly balanced through the water. The plastics, um, sorry, the trebles that I use are these owner trebles. They're a two times strong owner treble and you can use other ones as well. The big weedless hook, this is like a uh, big decoy worm hook. I think it's called an 18. Yeah, a worm 18 and it's a 70 is the size that I use. And the other thing, the, the the thing that you won't see, on the back it shows you how to rig them. That's if you want to rig them to tear them. If you don't want them torn at the front from having big fish pull on them and wreck the front of them so you have to keep buying packets of these things, then you want to run with a, what's called a little twist lock. And it's a little pigtail thing that's got like a pin through the middle of it. And you can get them cheap as, I just get them off um, the little lure shop or you can get on eBay and get like packs of a hundred of them. And I just bought the three different sizes or whatever. And um, yeah, I end up using like the medium size ones for these. But that's what they are. They're called twist locks. And what they do is, I'll see if I can show you. I'll unrig this one to give you a look at how I do it. But it basically it's just curled onto the, curled onto the front of the plastic and then it sits inside the head of the plastic. And that's all it is. And then you run it up and sit it at the top of the worm hook. You might be able to see there's a little bit of plastic there as well. I don't always use that, but if I'm, if I'm running with that, I get that little bit of plastic out of these squidgy packets, these squidgy slick rigs. They come with a little hook protector, which is like a beautiful piece of plastic that's soft and you can use it as a keeper. And so I just cut that and then push it over, um, over the hook and then sit it up into the little um, S bend, where is it here? Then sit it up in the S bend until it goes down just over that bend there. And what that does is gives the lure, it, make, it pulls it down so the front of the slapstick sits slightly down like that. And the angle on the head then makes it swim perfectly level in the water and fade down, which is much more realistic. So that's how I'll fish it if I'm fishing from sort of one and a half to four feet of water um, over the flats and that sort of thing is to have that little bit of slick rig plastic hook keeper or hook protector up the top there. And then I run this twist lock through the head of the bait and then before I sit the back half of the lure on, what I do is, I'll show you, this is the treble. This is the owner treble, it's just a size six owner. And I just run it, you, can, you might be able to see that, but I'll explain it if it's not quite clear. But all I've got is just a loop knot that I've just twisted onto the hook. And so, I'll see if I can take it off. I've just tied a loop knot there, you might be able to see that. 
at the end of, if you do sort of like, it's about seven to 10 centimeters that sits back and all you do is, once you've got the, the hook point, you just put it on, it's a bit fiddly, but you're just twisting it, twisting the loop, and then trying to push the little loop on. And it's not tight, so it moves up and down, right? And it potentially could come off, but I haven't had that happen yet, out of all the big flatties that I've pulled on these things. And then you'll just sit the, sit the plastic over the hook and it sits like that in the body of the, of the plastic. And you wanna sit it perfectly central, and that'll mean that it just drags perfectly straight through the water. So the reason why I run with that treble you'll get a lot of fish that, sh that pull the, hit the back of the lure and that gives you a better hookup rate but it also means that the, the balance of that plastic is perfect as it swims through the water. So hopefully that's cleared up some of the stuff that you need. I'll go through it really quickly again. Two, two X owners, these big worm 18s by decoy in the 70 and then just the little hook protector and the, the um, leader stuff that I use is this FC Rock. It's an awesome material, super hard, and I haven't had a flatty bite through that yet or saw its way through it, but that's why I use fluorocarbon. So that's how I like to rig these big slapsticks. They are an insane lure. They're very, very good for casting, even unweighted. You can still throw them a mile, especially if you're fishing wind assisted. And um, actually what I might do, I'll show you some snippets out of giant flathead in the shallows just so you can see a little bit of the action and if you haven't got your hands on that dvd or uh, digital download yet make sure you get onto it i'll leave you with some of the action and i'll see you in the next video yep there we go oh, nice one too just felt that little tap Yep, there it is. Oh, nice fish. Oh, brilliant stuff. Look at the pulling power in the fin structures of these things. Yep, there it is. Oh, yes. Oh, now I pulled the hooks on it. <laughs> Look at this, would you? These great big flathead. Oh, it's good fun. Oh, yeah, there it is. Saw him come up. Oh. oh, just seen it. <laughs> Here's a giant. 